everyone, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com and today's topic is more on the beer bug. So I know people have a lot of questions and we're just trying to all figure out what is going on. So I will just jump right in here. Uh, the first question, this is a two part, says, hello Lynn, I am convinced that the beer bug response has been politically motivated by politicians and the mainstream media. Is it possible that people have planted the beer bug in several large cities to encourage the virus to spread? increasing the infection rate and potentially embarrassing present T. So, I mean, immediately I get a yes. And as I tune into this, I get a definite yes. The delivery system I got was kind of interesting too. As I ask how they're spreading this or what they're doing, I get it's somewhat voluntary. What I mean by that is what happens is if someone suspects they have it, and they get tested or maybe they're mandated that they're tested because of their job or some personal situation. I get that some of the swabs are tainted in a specific geographic area and they actually infect people via the test that they're taking. I heard something about that many people that were unsure and even asymptomatic are coming back positive and the rate that this is occurring is drastically increasing. That they're zoning in on areas that have a conservative presence or are having large amount of conservative protests opposing the closing of the country, masks, and all the other stuff that people are trying to fight against. By doing this, they can tie the numbers and increased outbreaks to the conservatives and their gatherings, as opposed to all the protest and destruction and looting by the supporters of the alt-left side. So they're trying to kind of demonize the conservative party. So the left are doing what they can to tie Trump and his supporters to the beer bug. So in some regards, yes, they are doing this intentionally targeting Trump and his followers. So then back to the test itself. I get that if the droplet theory was as serious as they claim, we'd be able to cop it, cut, cough, sorry, tongue twister there, into a cup or a device to do a test. If it was breath, or nasal passages, if it was related to that, we should be able to do something like a breathalyzer to have a test. And as I focus on this more, I get that the reason that the swabbing has to be so deep in the nose and throats because it's more difficult to spread than they normally thought. So you can spread it and it is mucus, I guess, oriented, but it's not as simple as a droplet or a breath kind of a thing. It's at least what I intuitively get. Do your own research, that's what I'm getting. The instances that they're trying to intentionally spread this, they need to use this technique, meaning the eight inch long swab to breach the mucous membranes to get the virus to transfer. Still wash your hands, use good hygiene. I do get it's a real bug that people can catch, but just use common sense, especially if you have an underlying condition. And in most situations, there's no need to live in fear or have this fear vibration surrounding you regarding this bug. So that's what I get on that part of the question. So then someone else had said, in regards to the current pandemic, I'm aware it will cool off once the election is over, but with society getting so used to the new normal and easily complying with the mask requirements and vaccinations, do I see this new normal slipping away or staying put for a while after the election? I know Trump's aware of the truth of the beer bug, so wondering if that helps, but uh, it's put things back to where they were. So we're gonna go back to where we are, what's gonna happen with that? And I get it's gonna take a really long time to get back to what is truly normal new normal there's nothing normal about it yes it's new no it's not normal uh, people are slowly becoming desensitized and complying sometimes by force with these new expectations but once this election is over it's going to slowly go back to how it was but it's going to take time to fight through the alt left to do it they're out there and they're relentless november is going to be tough and even though the election is over the results are going to take time to be counted announced and even accepted so november is just going to be tumultuous all the way around I can't see the division coming together that fast. I can't see us coming together that quickly. Once the immunization comes out, I see things easing up a lot, but that just starts a whole new fight. Some are gonna line up, others are gonna fight it. There may be restrictions like flying, unless you get immunized to do so. The good news is, is it doesn't appear to hold up for a long time and people overrule this as an infringement of personal rights and it looks like they're able to fight through this. It's just gonna take time to work through it. We have a long way to go, but eventually we're gonna get there. We just have to stick together and use your intuition, use your critical thinking, what makes sense to you. Um, and I'm just gonna leave you with that. So again, thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. That really helps me out a lot. Spread the word, all those great things. 
Um, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking about all this, what's going on in your part of the world. Again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.